Guess how long it took me to create this fully editable social media post from scratch? Two minutes. Coincidence? I don't think so. Let me show you how. Go to express.adobe.com to open Adobe Express, sign in, and when you're here on the homepage, click on Generative AI, and then scroll down to find the text to template section. If you don't see it, then make sure your Adobe plan supports it and that your computer is on. If you do see it, then go ahead and enter a description of the template you want to generate. For example, let's create an Instagram post about an upcoming graphic design workshop for beginners. Click Generate. Wait for it to process, and here are some generated templates. Remember, all of these are editable. I'll show you how you can edit them in a bit. So think of them as starting points for your design. If you don't like any of them, simply click Generate More Results to generate more results. So now maybe I kind of like this one, but I'd like to see more variations of it. And look, there's a button that says See Variations. Let's click on it, wait for it to generate the variations, and done, very nice. Okay, I'll choose this one, click on it to open it in Adobe Express for further editing. Now, I'm not gonna talk about all the tools and features here, but you should know that you can click on things and change them. For example, if you don't like this image, just select it, you can click on the background thumbnail right there, and then click here to replace the image. You can upload your own image or choose one of the Adobe stock photos. You can double click on the text to make all kinds of changes to it, or even choose one of the recommended suggestions. You can resize things, move things around, change the opacity, reorder the layers here on the right by dragging them up or down, and so on and so forth. And one of the greatest features of Adobe Express is the resize button. It allows you to choose a different size. For example, let's choose Instagram story and then click duplicate and resize and adapt the design to these new dimensions. I'll delete that for now. And when you're done, click download and choose PNG, JPEG, or even a layered PDF, which if you open in Illustrator, will retain the fonts and vector shapes. This is awesome. This is text to template in Adobe Express. And this is it.